really want to work on my serve. My serve is yeah. I've got the yips. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. I used to do a drop serve and I was really comfortable. And then someone told me to do the hold serve and I'm just all messed up now. I think I should go back to the drop. I think that's okay. what I'm Sure. Whatever. I mean, especially right now, you probably just need to be consistent with yeah. that. I'm yeah. So so. Consistent, so I'm gonna be... Sure. Well, let's let's do let's do some drop search real quick. Anything else you want to work on today, or That's I can just really kind of see. The other thing would be like getting it hit at my feet. Okay. That's a. Uh, I, I'm I'm really I'm good at the net, but when it gets at my feet, I almost every time miss it. Hmm. Okay. So. We'll we'll look at that. Okay. Um. Let's uh, let's see your serves. Just serve it how you normally would, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll okay. see we'll see what's well, going on. Start. Let's uh, drop. yeah. Let's start with the drop, but let's also look at. We'll do a couple out of the air. I know you said you're less comfortable with it, but also it could be interesting to see what's happening. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. Show me what you're doing right now, and then we'll see what we should go to. Okay. 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 <laughs> it does. It does look kind of awkward to me. Awkward, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, that looks a lot like easier. Why can't you just do that out of the air? Out of um, the air? Yeah, yeah. I mean, just like, like if anything, you wow. can do a little toss or like just start. Like when you do it off the bounce, you're going like you're doing a little bit of a wind up. It looks more organic. Then when you do it out of the air, it's like. I feel, that's how I feel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's how it looks like. So, um, yeah, just make make it organic out of the air. So like, yeah, just start like. Whoop. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, try try that again. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah, just pre swing and then try again. Um, it's belly button height or oh, lower. Oh, yeah, okay. so. Not, yeah, belly button. Try. Um, that one, your angle is a little bit more like this. Just open it up a little bit more. Um, the more open it is, the higher it goes. Yeah, let's just, yeah, just go ahead and do some drop ones. You know what, now I just want to be consistent. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, and? I think the more I get in, the more, then I can start working with spinning. Yeah. Is there a reason why I can't have any knock Is there a reason is why? Is there a reason, is it okay to draw? Um, I think long term, like, it, the quality maybe won't be as high. Okay. But, um, so that's okay. Um, yeah. But also, but also for you, it, it could be better just right now, and it's fine. I've seen people who draw them and they break better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not horrible. It's fine. Yeah. No, it's okay. I just, if anything, right now, we're just trying to get you out of the yips, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try when you're dropping it, try dropping it more in front of you. Okay. You're kind of dropping it more to the side. Just drop it out in front. Yeah. Yeah. That should, yeah, that should be a lot easier. You can kind of move into it or lean into it. it gives you space. Okay. That was good. Nice. Okay. And then, um... So this is regardless of whether you're dropping it, hitting out of the air. How high over the net are you aiming right now? I'm not even thinking about how that is. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So if you do think about how high over the net you're aiming, it is going to go where you want it to. So I want you to aim about three feet over the net. Okay. 
that's going to help your ball go deep, but it's not going to go out. If you hit it a couple of inches over the net, it it's going to go shorter. And also, if you're off a couple of inches, you're going to hit the net. So aim aim a little bit higher over the net, not too high, but three feet. Yeah. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, so like that, that one, never going to go long, never going to go short. The only potential issue is wide, but that, that shouldn't happen too much. It's okay. Good. Okay, all right, let's see. Can you do a confident one? Be confident. Hit it. Okay. Do you know why? Do you know why those those ones happen? So when when it goes really high and it goes a little deep, that's because you're sh you're swinging up and forward the whole time. Like you're swinging up and forward together. Instead, I want you to it's you want to break it up into three different parts. One is I want you to connect with the ball where the ball's on your paddle and you've got possession of the ball. Next is you go up just a little bit. And then third, you go forward. Um, so you get the ball up to the height you want it to go. And then you want it to stay at that height. Your ball is going up and, and forward the whole time where it's getting higher and higher. We just want it to get to the height and then stay there. So grab it up, then forward. Okay, and you didn't, um, I'm, glad it, I'm glad it went in, but you didn't strike the ball very well. Let's get a good contact, let's get a good sound. There you go, you hear that sound? Yeah. I like that sound. So um, let's, let's get, if you can, once we're consistent, next goal is just getting it to go deeper. Good, okay, nice, good. You had some spin on that too, good job. Let's do a couple this way. Okay. Good try. Just make a small adjustment. Not a big deal. Good. Yeah, I think I'm I hesitating. And then the ones you're doing your best on, um, something that I've noticed is when you're more kind of doing this like windmill thing. You, it's like a specific free swing that you do. You weren't doing it for a lot of these first ones. Um, so make sure you keep doing that. That's, okay. uh, that's important for you. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, once, so with the windmill though, it's here, and then I want it to go more this, like what it's here, go, and it goes this way at that point. It's less going like back up again, right? There we go. Good. It's yeah. more powerful than the other one. So. Okay. Good. Try right. that one's going up and forward. So just just go. Um, once you get the forward, you need just once you get the up, you need just go forward at that point. Okay. Now you're now you're dropping it behind you. Um, at least drop it to the side, if not in front. Okay, good. Good job with the windmill. Um, I want you to try, uh, when you finish your stroke, I want you to finish a little bit more sharp. Um, just like stop. I, I don't really care where you, it's like parking a car in a parking lot. I don't care which parking spot you pick. I just want you to stop and then park your car in a parking spot. So just finish a little bit more sharp. It should make it, should make it a lot more, um, a lot higher quality of a serve. So get, yeah, give that a try. Okay, but that, that was a high quality serve, you just went wide, so don't just go hit it that way now. And... Okay, I want you to try um, your angle, like you want to go down the line. You want to point your hips where you want the ball to go. So 
So yeah, just point them this way if you want to go cross court. So that's a little too much. Right now you want to go towards the red pole. Yeah, there you go, right there. Yeah, it's just cross court. Okay, try again. Um, that's behind you again. You're hitting it like back here. This elbow is behind you. Let's hit it at least to the side, if not in front. In front too is like out here. Uh, you don't have to do that, but we can't. I can't have you be hitting it back here. That's causing issues. Okay, in. Um, that ball started to go down a little too. Like it bounced, got to the high point, and then it started to descend. You uh, you waited a little too long, just a little bit. Um, that one, you're, you're more like rotating your elbow here. Can we more rotate your hand? Do you see how, like, tell me which rotation's better or like stronger. Ready? So I'm going to, I'm going to do this one. So that's one rotation. Now this, this rotation, which one's faster? Second. I like the second one. So I'm more, it's like, a I'm, I'm rotating it from my hand, which means like, it ha Basically, the further away from my body it is, the more power I have. So when you're when you're when you're doing this pre-rotation, have the hand lead it rather than your elbow. Um, it should make you a lot more powerful. So it's just a, instead of this, where I'm just using the elbow here, I'm rotating this part. Yeah. Okay. Give that a try. Okay. That one, you're, you're doing your hand and your elbow, which is better than just your elbow, so that, that's okay. Good. Ooh, that was a nice one. I felt it in my hand a lot better. That was a great one. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, all right. Um, championship point. <laughs> Pressure's on. Hit. You got to... You gotta, Put some pressure with this serve. Let's see it. Let's see a good one. There we go. Yeah. So, like, don't. I just want you to when you whenever I serve with passion, the serve is a lot better. Yeah. So just to, just give it some heart. Like, let's go. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Good. And as long as you're not going like up and forward, and as long as you don't hit it too high, it will stay in. So just as long, like, don't hit it in the net. But as long as you're serving at the right height and you're not doing it the wrong way, it's going to stay in. So you have the freedom to really swing away yeah. and not be worried about missing. So keep, keep going. Let's, let's, I want you to see that freedom where you're, you're going it's a for lot it. Better. It does feel? It. Okay, good. You feel a lot less awkward. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, you're doing, you're doing great. I mean, and then it's like, I want to do more lessons. It's going to get a lot. I'm happy to change. I just want to get more, like you said, more confidence or, uh, have more freedom. Yeah. Build on that. So let's just try some with that with that freedom. Swing away. Don't be worried about missing. Go for it. Okay. Good try. Just wide. Try. Um, three feet over the net. That was more like four, five. That's good. Good depth. So just a little closer to the net, like it's it's here. Let's just get it more to that about that height. Maybe that's two and a half. I don't know. But okay, confident, strike the ball. Okay, pretty good. I like how. Um, let's see. Let me turn this on so you can hear me. Uh, I really like how. Sorry, I'm gonna pick up balls. Test, test, yeah. Um, sorry. Go, go ahead. Serve another. Test, test. Okay. Okay. So I do like how your serve bounces and then it's pushing forward. 
that's really good. Um, it puts pressure on your opponent when your serve bounces and it just sits there. Um, it's not as high quality and it doesn't put as much pressure on them. So try to emphasize that. Really like send the ball forward, get your ball to bounce and push out. If your ball can bounce and then hit the wall, and that's a good way to know if you're doing it really well. So try to get your ball to bounce in and then hit the wall. Don't let it double bounce. Yeah, pretty good though. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, oh, sweet. Good. Nice serve. Nice. Really good one. I like the I like your windmill right there. It looks pretty good. Nice. Um, okay, uh, let's uh, let, let's keep track out of ten. How many you get? We're gonna tr just try to get nine out of ten, if not ten out of ten. Yeah, I, I wasn't ready. I didn't see that. They're starting now. So you're, you're moving forward a lot, which is good, because you're gonna get more power, but you're dropping it pretty far to the side. Drop it more in front if you wanna really step and move into it. One. All right, one. One, one. Uh, I saw it good, two, one, two, two. Three, three, good, nice steps on that. Four, four, good depth, and you're, oh, it hit the wall, good job. Yeah, there we go, hitting the wall, good stuff, five, five. Good job, six, six. Seven, seven. Eight, eight. Nine, nine. Nice, good adjustment from the short one. Uh, it's, not, it's not a horrible thing to hit a short one, but it's hopefully not every time. Yeah. Just make a little adjustment, not a big yeah. deal. Um, okay, good, 10 for 10. So one thing I really want you to keep in mind, though, is when you're serving, um, Make sure you get in your rhythm. Um, like, you got that time you got 10 in a row, you go in your rhythm. Before, you miss two, and it's just like, okay, just find your rhythm. Like, so anyways, find your rhythm with serving. Maybe, like a lot of people warm up thinking when they're starting to warm up. I think for you, why don't you hit like 10 serves, get get your misses out before you start the game, rather yeah. than in the first game or two. Smart idea. Yeah, so I would, I would just say, hey, I want to warm up my serve. Not a big deal, and uh, yeah, so just warm up your serve a couple. Yeah, that's um, idea. Okay, so I um, so we did. I think we've relatively accomplished your objective of like. Oh, did you feel more comfortable? Yeah, okay. I do. So yeah, hopefully you're comfortable and it's reliable. That's the main objective. Um, would you like to? Should we leave it alone? And, yeah, we can leave it alone for now. Okay, because it, yeah, there's more we can like work on later yeah. um, and we'll, we'll look at that later but yeah that, that looks great for now good, good job yeah um, and sometimes if we change too much it's just gonna yeah, overwhelm yeah. so we'll leave that alone 